guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. Today we have my project update. Um, this is going to be the last update for a little bit because I am going to be doing a job here in the second part of this month and into July where I'm not going to have any time to film because I'm basically on call 24-7. Uh, I'm going to be in charge of a dance camp, the dorm situation. So I'm going to be, I just won't have time to film. And I won't have a space to film there either. So I'm sorry, but the final update is going to be probably into July, maybe August, depending on like everything. I'm going to try to save my empties and uh, still bring them back to show you all. But I just wanted to throw that out there that um, I just won't have a space to film for a while uh, and I won't have the time because I will be uh, in charge of a whole bunch of teenagers. It's a pray for me. <laughs> it's going to be a lot and I'm nervous because we haven't found anybody to help me yet and time's ticking down. So yeah, I'm like, oh no, I need, I need other uh, people there. I can't be in charge of all of those children all by myself for the first time as a director yeah anyway um let's go over what i finished in may i finished two of the alta beauty salted pineapple body scrubs these are nice i do like them i go through them much more quickly than tree hut but they are smaller than tree hut so that is part of the reason these are only 11.5 ounces and i believe those are 16 ounces but these are a good scrub. I got them for like one or two something. I got them for really cheap. So I was happy to have those and glad to have them out of my collection. This one does not look empty, but it, it is empty. This is the Secret Minerals from the Dead Sea Ocean Mist Body Butter. Uh, I did finish that, but then I had a tube kind of explode uh, an old Bath & Body Works Shea Butter foot scrub cream so that is what's in here right now because it started leaking and so I scooped out everything and put it in here instead so that's why there's still stuff in it it was a really nice body butter um, but I probably want to purchase it again because I don't like those kiosk salesmen um, yeah uh, tangerine raspberry tangerine hand cream really liked this one I was hoping to finish more hand creams, but I have not been very good about using hand cream, so I didn't. I finished one set of my Bath & Body Works American Girl collaboration. This is strawberries and cream. The uh, I finished the lotion and I finished the shower gel. I did not finish my second lotion. We're going to talk about that one in a minute. And then I also finished my pink chiffon. This one uh, dates back a long ways. This one date was back to 2013. This is red pear, jasmine petals, and tiari flower. I love pink chiffon. It is a great scent. And then I also finished my Calypso Clementine Exfoliating Beach Body Scrub from Bath & Body Works. The notes on this are Juicy Clementine, Norley Nectar, and Coastal Woods. I finished this one. I traded it in for my At The Beach because the At The Beach has a seal on it. This one did not. These don't. Don't know why they have these ones not sealed. But the tropical collection ones this year were sealed and I don't want to deal with any more that aren't sealed. So um, decided to put that one in my project instead, just swap one for one. Now for all the things that I haven't finished, I am going to completely remove this uh, a second American Girl um, strawberries and cream bodies lotion from my current, what am I trying to say? I'm removing it from the project. That's what I'm trying to say. I do love this, but I have an even number if I say this one and I'll, I'll work on this one again next year. That's kind of like, I've been using some of the American Girl every year. And so I'm going to save that for next year. I just, I want to cherish it. I want to savor it. It is what it is. And then we have um, our two philosophies. I put these in, in exchange for the Catherine Maladrino ones that I had in there because I was like, mm, those don't really scream summer to me. 
and I wanted something a little bit more. So I am wearing Endless Summer today. This I just started this today, so it's like right here. And this is actually the perfume that I'm wearing today too, because you know, why not? And then I also have Summer Memories from Philosophy. These are both pure grace. So that is the second lotion I'm going to work on finishing in June. I have my two uh, Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower scrubs from last year, I think. These were from last year. And I'm about halfway through this first one. I started this a little early because I finished my other scrubs in May. And then I have my full size one. If I don't finish that, I'm not gonna be traveling with it because they do leak out and I don't wanna deal with that. So whatever I don't finish, I'm just gonna leave here until uh, at my parents <laughs> until I'm done with my next job. And then uh, Pink Watermelon, I've used it twice. So, uh, you know, got a ways to go on that one. Slowing down the progress on my Butterfly Body Butter because of this, uh, rogue body foot cream so i'm only using this uh for my hands at night i have a pretty good dent in there why quit there you go so you know i have a pretty good dent i use it occasionally i am working on my coconut milk hand cream i'm probably about halfway through it i just haven't been using hand creams as much and then like yesterday i really wanted hand cream and i realized i had taken it out on my purse which was not helpful. I was trying to like, you know, when you accumulate lots and lots of uh, lip glosses and lip balms and lipsticks in your purse, for some reason I grabbed this one out at the same time. And I was like, oh, one day I really want it, don't have it. Then I have my orange mint uh, foot treatment. I This is probably just gonna get roll over into next my next project pan, because there's quite a bit of it left and in my experience, it does take me at least a year to finish one of these because I only use this on nights when I know I'm going to shower in the morning because it does leave your feet a little sticky. So this one I haven't started, like I said, but everything else I've at least gotten a start on except for everything that's in here. This is like my bag of shame right now because I'm not going to finish most of these. There's a couple that I might, but mm. We have the Ahava Mineral Hand Cream. These are usually like at night, so I'm not sad that I'm not finishing this because I'm finding this uh, butterfly is soft enough at night that it doesn't like energize me or anything. And then uh, my Mineral Foot Cream, I will, you know, use this at another time because I have this one now that I am working on. Then we have all of my hand creams from Bath and Body Works. I have five that I have not started. I don't think I'm going to start some of these. So a thousand wishes. It's a little too much at this time of year. So we're going to save that for later. Bubbly Rosé. I thought I would use this when I used up my Bubbly Rosé, but I didn't get around to using it. So that one I probably, I don't know. I might roll it over. Uh, champagne Toast. I could still maybe use that one. Frosted Coconut Snowball. I might use that one because, you know, coconut in the summer is nice. And then I have my shea butter, which I was gonna use kind of at night if I needed it. These are the ones that I'm hoping that I can finish this month. Um, I have a gardener's hand help from, uh, where is this, Le Covent de Minimes. Then I have this little hand cream from Chanel, kind of would like just to get them out of my collection. I have a L'Occitane, uh, dry skin hand cream. And then I have two that are sunscreens that I desperately need to use up uh, from Supergoop. So I'm going to use those. These ones for sure. I was going to, these were on my most should use this month, but I didn't. So we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. So that's where I am with this project, what I have finished, what I still have to go. That's a lot. I mean, I know a lot of it's the hand creams and I those I find the hardest to like judge how many I'm going to need or how many I'm going to use. I need to relook at what I've used the past few uh, projects and see, get a better balance before I finish filming my new projects, which will start in July. I have it partially filmed um, and then I have, I need to figure out my foot creams and my hand creams. That's what where I am right now with that, what I'm going to use. So obviously this guy is probably, this is going to be in there. 
this is going to be in there but I will be putting that up in July so you will be able to see that um, and see what I'm hoping to finish in the next the last six months of the academic academic year just the year I'm already thinking about school which is crazy because we've only been out a month um, so anyway, let me know how you think I'm doing. Let me know what you are hoping to use up. If you think I can finish what I have left, um, thoughts and opinions, leave them down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time.